as we look at the tail of the tape. Louis Grover and Michael Hay do battle. 28-year-old Grover, 22-year-old Hay. Height the same, weight pretty much as well, and a little bit more reach for Hay as we get to, for this bantamweight bout. First, the rules, it's a 10-point must system based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. No knees or kicks to the head of a grounded opponent. Let's go inside the cage now to Jazz Securo for the official introductions. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Series of Fighting 21. We'd like to welcome our viewers that are streaming live at WSOF.com. This event is sanctioned by the Edmonton Combative Sports Commission. And now, our first fight is brought to you by Everlast Hydrate Elite. Three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Bantamweight Division. And now, introducing on my left, fighting out of the blue corner of the Decagon. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 and a half pounds. His professional record, one victory, two defeats, fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, making his World Series of Fighting debut tonight. Introducing Louis H.D. Grover. And now his opponent across the deck have gone fighting out of the red corner. His record is even one victory, one defeat, standing five feet, eight inches tall, weighing 135 pounds, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, by way of Stony Plain, Alberta, also making his World Series of Fighting debut, presenting Your referee for this fight is Michael Hay. And Kyle Cardinal will be doing the fighting. All right, Henzo, so here we go. Apparently, Hay, the crowd favored from the reaction so far here from the beginning. He's, a, he's the local boy. He has a, he trains at the Gracie Bar Academy, located like 15 minutes from the arena. Real prospect in the bantamweight division, as you talked about the hometown crowd. Beautiful right take off the down. bat. Yes, yes. His opponent was bringing heavy ladder towards him, and he was very efficient and perfect in timing, bringing his opponent down. Hay taking Grover to the mat here early in this one. 22-year-old Hay, as we have the first of three rounds, scheduled for three, five-minute round. What do you look for from these young fighters here as they come onto the scene? I believe calmness. You have to look into their calmness and their experience like this kid is doing right now. That was a beautiful transition, going to the mount and now going to the head and arm choke. Look at that. It's, it's basically on. Let's see if he has the ability to finish. It's very, common, it's very common the, uh, the, the, the person resist on that kind of choke and then suddenly just pass out. He, has, he, doesn't, he doesn't suffocate because it doesn't, doesn't strangle him, but it apply, is the, the choke when it's applied normally forces the opponent to sleep. He's out of the choke, now he turned his back. He's being very efficient with his ground work. He's being very efficient. He's going back again to, to the mount. Nice job by Grover to kind of roll. Change into an hand. arm lock, move into an arm lock from the guard. Beautiful transitions. He shouldn't be avoiding that crossing that feet. Allowed his opponent to stack him very easy, you see? Again, he's going back to crossing his feet. Look, it's allowed his opponent to, to stack him and prevent him from applying pressure to the arm lock. For Grover, six MMA fights, three professionally, three amateur, all but one of the six were finished in the first round. He has yet to see the third round in his young career. True, it's very, he's been very efficient. Does have the one submission in the second round. There you go, stay right there. Good, hips up, look, look to me. Look the arm is back, he got it back. That's it. Beautiful finish. Beautiful work. Very intense fight and a beautiful display of grappling from Hay. And Hay goes to the canvas. <laughs> Has every reason to celebrate. Unbelievable work, beautiful work. You could see his opponent was much better. You could see Louis Grover was much better with his hands. He was very smart in bringing the fight to the ground and managed very well to get the finish. 
Let's go to the first takedown here as this match got right in the way. Grover with a kick, but then Hay was able to put him right to the matter or here early. Perfect, perfect timing in getting into it. The, mom, the moment that he threw the kick was a perfect timing to bring his opponent down. And that's the beginning of the end. Look, he's still making the mistake of crossing his feet, which allowed his opponent to stack him and, and, and pound him on the ground a few times. But as he keep working and the lack of experience of uh, Grover all that look his arm gets fully extended and was a perfect perfect arm lock to finish the fight so hey we'll go to two and one Grover will drop to one and three and our first fight of the night here from the Edmonton Expo Center Michael Hay the hometown favorite Training out of the Legends Training Center from Stony Plain, Alberta. Let's go inside the cage of Jazz Sekiro for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to an arm bar at two minutes and 17 seconds of round number one. Your winner, Michael Strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No. 